So the new Valorant update has finally came. So in today's video, I will be showing you simple methods to boost your FPS in the new Valorant update. Watch until the end of the video, because I will be giving away a free Valorant FPS boost pack for the low end users. So what you want to do for the first step is you want to head over to your Windows bar and you want to type out run. Then you want to run the run application and you want to type out this command. I will leave this command in the description so you can basically copy and then you can paste it. So once you paste it, you want to click OK. Then you want to head over to saved and you want to head over to config. Then what you want to do is you basically want to click on this file that has a bunch of numbers and words. If you have two of these files, that means you have two profiles logged in. So you just want to find your profile. So once you find your profile, you want to click on your profile. Then you want to head over to windows. Then what you want to do is you want to right click on the game user settings. You want to head over to edit. Then you want to scroll all the way down and you want to find scalability groups. So the resolution quality, you want to put it on 100. If you have a good PC, that's for the high end users. If you have a mid range PC, you want to put it on 70%. And if you have a low end PC, you want to put it on 50. You want to put all these settings on zero. You want to put your view distance quality on zero, basically, and all of these settings. Then once you're done with that, you want to click on file. Then you want to click on save. Then basically to get your Valorant running on a high performance, basically what you want to do is you want to right click on your desktop. You want to head over to display settings. Then you want to scroll all the way down and you want to click on graphic settings. Then you want to head over to browse. Then you want to go to your local disk and you want to click on Riot games. Then you want to head over to your Valorant file. You want to click on live and then you want to click on your Valorant.exe and you want to click on add. Then once you add it, you want to click on options and you want to put your game on high performance and you want to click on save. So that step will basically take your FPS from 60 to basically 120. Finally, the moment that everyone have been waiting for, what you want to do is you want to download the Valorant update FPS boost pack. I will leave a link in the description. It's basically free. You can download it. So once you download it, what you want to do is you want to click on a file. Then you want to click on step one. Then you basically want to merge all these registries. You basically want to right click on them and you want to hit over to merge. You want to do that to each and every one. Then once you're done with that, you want to hit over to latency fix and you want to click on timer resolution. So what you want to basically do is you want to click on maximize and then you want to minimize this program. So whenever you play Valorant, you just want to open this program. You want to click on maximize and you want to minimize the program. Then once you're done with that, you want to hit back. Then you want to click on power plan. You want to open up the ultimate performance. Then what you want to do is basically want to copy this command. You want to hit over to copy. Then you want to type in your Windows bar. You want to type in CMD. You want to run it as administrator. Then once you open up CMD, what you want to do is you want to paste that command you basically copied and you want to hit enter and it will basically create your ultimate performance power plan. So once you created the power plan, you want to head over to your windows bar. You want to type out power plan and you want to click on choose a power plan and you want to find the one that you created. It will basically be just here. You want to click on ultimate performance and that's it. And that's it. That will basically push your base. Then once you're done with that, you want to head over to the fourth step. You want to click on CPU optimization and then you basically want to run these registry files and it will boost your pc um a hell of a lot for the low-end pc users as well as if you're having problems with lags or anything this file will help you the most then once you're done with that you want to head over to number five high priority you want to click on it and you want to click on high priority and you want to run that and if the high priority is basically not working for you what you want to do is you just want to click on default priority and we'll go back to normal then basically for the final step what you want to do is you basically basically want to open up your Valorant. Then you want to head over to your settings. You want to click on settings. Then you want to head over to the video tab and you want to click on graphics quality. Then you want to put your material quality on low. You want to put your texture quality on high. If you have a GPU, you want to put it on high. If you don't have a GPU, put it on low. Your detail quality, you want to put on low. Your UI quality, you want to put on low. Your V-Sync, you want to put off. Your anti-analysing, you want to put on FXAA. Your anti-tropical filter, you want to put on 1X. And your improved clarity, you want to put it off if you put it on it will take a little frames by the way and your experimental sharpening you want to put off your bloom you want to put it on your distortion you want to put off and your car shadows you want to put off but anyway guys if the settings helped you please give it a like and also subscribe to the channel for more fps boost content as well as valorant content you can watch this video on my right hand corner and you can play this playlist by the way and watch some valorant content on this channel and by the way thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video Oh.